Hi, I'm Lino Marrero. Gero Shinsky. Kate Art. Lilia Young. Manaya. And I'm Zoraya. Samantha Hensky. I'm Joseph. Sophie. I'm Cole. My name is Emily, and I invented the Blackberry Picker. The River Trash Trap. Storybot. Kate Brella. The A Watch for Allergies. The Backpack Barricade. Chemotherapy. AZ Design. The String Ring. And it will save you our music career. Take one. Kids have good inventions because their brain works different than other people. Why kids are good inventors? Kid inventors like have a long future. You have a lot more time in your life to keep inventing. And they're younger. We have a lot more ideas and energy. They feel more zippy and bouncy and zingy. More like commitment to like to this. They probably got it from their parents. My mom is a computer scientist. She's my main mentor. Well, people think that just because you're a kid, you can't do things, and that you're not as capable as older people. But kids can also solve problems. Oh, don't go too far. Too far. Hello. What question again? Kids have a bigger imagination, like really big ideas. They're very super duper smart. So most educational studies show that if you want to make an impact on kids and make them really good at problem solving, you start at kindergarten. Hi, my name is Emily and this is my invention, the Blackberry Picker. We thought of this idea because my grandmother uses a cane. One of the great things about kid inventions is they're very empathetic. They're usually inventing to solve a problem for their parents, their loved ones, their best friend. And while invention education has a little bit of a peak in the sweet spot in grades four through six, we've got K through three and seven through 12 represented here as well. My grandma lived with me while she was going through chemotherapy. And while she was going through, I realized that she was losing a lot of weight and she always wanted a fudge curl to soothe her mouth. I have food allergies myself. Nuts, eggs, seeds, fish, and a lot of other stuff. And I know firsthand how unpleasant they can be. When I was five years old, I loved to play video games, but it was hurting my eyes, and so my mom wanted me to make my own instead. And so I started learning how to code, and I got really good at it. Well, the reason I created this is I had this backpack that I loved. I'm in love with horses, so I had this horse backpack. And one day, it was like a three-seater, so I put it under the bus seat. And what happened was, when I pulled it out, it was soaking wet with like soda, water, juice. I have no clue what it was. And the homework that I'd spent forever on was ruined. Too many people in the world had, had, to, use, had to use a cane so they can walk. For an example, like, 6.5 million people use a cane or crutches to, to assist with their mobility. I'm from California, and its environment's amazing. Tide pools, the Monterey Bay, redwoods, the mountains. We all need to respect them. If we didn't have otters, then we would have an invasion of kelp forests, and we wouldn't have kelp forests. We wanted to invent something that will travel throughout the world and everybody can use especially girls and boys and babies. We used to pick blackberries by hand, but then Mommy had to climb in the bush to get the inside ones, and she get stuck in the net. And, there are my, and I poked me one right here. I came up with the idea for the string ring. I was playing my cello. My fingers are really hurting, and I really wanted to stop. And I thought, do other people have this problem? So I asked around, and it turned out a lot of the kids at my school had this problem. And some adults even quit their string instruments because of this problem. So I thought I should invent a solution. The A-Watch will have several sensors that can detect common symptoms of an allergic reaction. It will also have a GPS receiver because sometimes a child is scared. So we're going to run in the closet and hide somewhere. And, well, we don't know where they are. So you program to watch to know a certain kind of itching movement? Yeah. So we teach kids a lot of really, really important and great things in school today. Invention is all about taking those skills and letting them look at the world around them 
find problems that are dear to them and help them understand the process of going through and solving those problems. We've got kids that we're working with that literally we believe will be making tens of millions of dollars in profit their first years. So, Storybot is 3D or tactile, which means touchable and feelable, so that our blind friends, oh by the way, so that our blind friends know where and what the pieces are. So when this green flag is clicked, we want to start the code, and then just like we did before, move up three steps, and then we move left two steps, then we move up three steps again. And so now we have an if-then condition. Okay, so it's practically a cane with a telescopic rod with an umbrella at the top. It would open by itself. It's not like pop right in their face and then <laughs> yeah. they have to go to the emergency room. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want that. <laughs> no one wants that. My Blackberry Picker is a, a free feet long invention. It's used to pick blackberries inside the bus and the apples high up in the tree. Doop, doop, pull, and the blackberries in. Black is kind of my color. Hey, Soraya. <laughs> hey, Anaya. So what are we going to do for the invention? Mm, I don't know. We wanted to do a hairband. It also comes off and on. I have three different chemotherapy flavors. The raspberry honey chemotherapy, a peanut butter banana chemotherapy, and a maple oatmeal chemotherapy. This is the maple oatmeal popsicle, and this one I have, I have I admire your courage on it. Hardest part about inventing the string ring was probably finding the right width, cutting it to the right width and length, so, because it couldn't be too long, because then it would bump into two strings at once, but it couldn't be too short, because it wouldn't wrap around my finger. It sounds stays the same. My invention is a stainless steel container that sits under the bus seat in front of you and holds onto the seat an inch off the ground. There's a mesh bottom, so any liquid that gets in can drain out, but the rest of the sides are closed, so nothing can really work its way in. And basically what you do, this is just to show how it works, is you open the snap. Okay, can we The Move a Trash Trap is a platform that looks like a boat and uses completely renewable energy to collect trash from the rivers. The river current will spin the water wheel, then the water wheel moves the conveyor belt. Meanwhile, the river current will be pushing the trash onto the conveyor belt, and the conveyor belt will move the trash up and into the trash bin. A lot of these products are very commercializable. Okay, they just need to be treated with the same respect you'd have if someone else uh, that was 35 or 40 years old walked in with the same idea. So I presented Storybot to the National Federation of the Blind, where I met the Mr. President, who by the way's real name is Mr. Mark. And then I presented it and showed it to Mr. Chris and Mr. Carl, and he gave us some really good feedback, like making the magnet strong. It's not unusual you'll find kids on the floor that already have provisional patents, already have filed for their full non-provisional patents, uh, that already have business cards and logos, and they're already trying to figure out how to take their products to market. I'm proud that I'm like honoring my grandma with it because she went through chemotherapy, and she really, like, I think she would be really proud of me. She was, like, so impressed of Joseph and I that she was just like, she was like in heaven. <laughs> Not literally. I know, but metaphor. My advice to other young inventors is don't stop because no one's made it. That's the whole point. I actually didn't think this was possible when I first thought of it, because I'm like, how the heck am I gonna do this? Try, 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 fail, fail, fail. The second you stop inventing, your mind's gonna get all closed up. You can't give up. If that's the thing you really don't want to do. There are people in need and I need to help. And if I give up on the invention, I'm giving up on all those people. Um, my t-shirt, it says, girls can change the world. Make it more healthier. Make it more watery. Make it more... The world needs more of eco-friendly things. Accessories. Electronics. Maybe even less electricity. Love. <laughs> People, in general, kind of relax 
And I mean, that's a great thing, but people also need to learn to take action. I wish adults understood us a little more. Yeah, I agree with her because some of those don't take kids seriously when they like want to do something, they're like, oh, you ain't great at it, and they just go about their business. And they just down you, down and make you feel like that you don't want to do the adventure anymore. It's not what other people say that really matters. It's what you think of yourself. If you think that you can't do it, then you can't. But even if an adult says you probably can't do it, but you but you believe in yourself, then you'll you'll probably succeed. You just need to believe. When we started our first regionals competition at our school, we were literally like shaking. Like we were literally like after it was over, we just like literally was like, oh, finally it's over. And then we found out we got to states and we're like, oh no, we have to go through this long process again. And we found out we went to national, we're going to nationals. And we're like, when does it end? <laughs> It was just so long of a process that it got more, it got us more motivated and excited to do this. Yeah, and I got a little nauseous. You we had, we had. Come in here? A lot. We, I. He threw up a few times. <laughs>